Not long ago, Mia had been given the gift of hearing via cochlear implants from the help of Dr. Peters and Forest Park Medical Center. Now let's see how she's progressing with her hearing therapy. Mia's doing great. We're all just thrilled at her progress, both in hearing and in speech and in language. Mia was implanted right at her second birthday. And of course, then it took several weeks before the implant was activated. And then it took a few months until we could get the stimulation levels up enough so that she was really hearing. And so even though technically her hearing age is about six months, I would say her effective hearing age is really just about three months. We are so excited about this because now when she, I don't know, she hears the cell phone or the phone in the house, she runs and pick it up and start talking like, what? I don't know what she's saying, but she starts like, wah, 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 wah. She's responding to her name like, uh, well, she asked us before. It's amazing how her life has changed because now, like you say, I love you, baby. And she's like kissing you and hugging you. Like she understands everything that you're saying. And she's a two and a half year old normal child uh, with the exception of her hearing deficit. And we are watching her experience hearing as a newborn. And that development from the newborn stage um, into uh, you know, a fully functioning child. But it's amazing how fast she seems to be learning and responding. I would have never believed that she could achieve what she's achieving uh, in such a short time. You know, she's really only been hearing for just a few months. We're doing what's called auditory verbal therapy. I'm a certified auditory verbal therapist. And we're teaching Mia to become a hearing speaking person, just like everybody in her family. And so the parents and grandparents are involved in the therapy session with Mia and me. So I'm not really teaching Mia to talk, I'm teaching her family how to teach Mia so that when they leave my office, they know how to do what she needs. We come to every session and Mia really works with Linda. It's a really huge change because um, she really works with Linda. I mean, she knows that we come here and she needs to work and do her therapy. And I work with her in El Paso. When we go back to the house, we are working every day in therapy, like one hour at the day. From an infant to, you know, the first speech, usually a year or more, well, she's doing this in just a few months, so we're seeing this compressed uh, time frame and watching her develop, and it, it's just amazing. It's really amazing. Linda is a speech therapist. She's just masterful in the way she has taught Mia and taught our family because we have to play an integral role in this every day. You know, we work with her and Linda has taught us to teach her. In this type of work with the parents in therapy uh, and the grandparents in therapy, everybody really learns to rally around the child and all the activities that we do. A lot of people come from a great distance um, El Paso, San Angelo, and, and even further, because they want to pour themselves into the child. They want to do everything possible to give the child every opportunity to, to be what the child can be. So, well, all the family is working with her. Oh, we are like always seeing the videos so we can know how to work with Mia, and she's happy about that. She'd love to to work with you. I mean, she's not like upset or something. She wants to, to work with you. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.